Drop a like in the next five seconds if you think the Season 3 Battle Pass should be free for all players. Drop a like and make the Season 3 Battle Pass free. Yo, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Pack Buncher. Welcome back to another Fortnite video here on the channel. In this one, we're going to be talking about Chapter 2, Season 3. Yes, you guys heard that right. We have some new information regarding the brand new Season 3 of Fortnite Battle Royale, looking at the brand new map, potentially even new skins coming to the Battle Pass, and everything associated here with Season 3. But before we get into all the information that I have to go over for you guys today, I want to say thank you guys for all the support on the recent live streams and videos that I have posted here on the channel. And as a way to say thank you, I want to hook up some of you guys with some b in the Fortnite item shop. So if you guys do want to get some V-Bucks on your Fortnite account, I'm going to be hooking up some people that are watching this video right now. If you want to enter to win some free V-Bucks, all you got to do is number one, drop a like on this video right now. Number two, make sure you are subscribed to my channel with the notification bell turned on. And number three, leave me a comment down below with your Epic Games name. I'll be going through the comment section choosing random people to hook them up with V-Bucks on their Fortnite account. So good luck to anyone who wants some V-Bucks. Also, don't forget to head over to your Fortnite item shop and go to the bottom right hand corner. Use my supporter credit code Pack a Puncher. Pack a Puncher, all one word, is my supporter credit code and I greatly appreciate anyone who does plug it in their Fortnite item shop. Now let's jump into this video because we have a lot of new information today regarding Season 3 that we need to go over with you guys to make sure you're fully up to date everything of Season 3, including a potential look at the skins of the Season 3 Battle Pass, going over the new locations that will be here for the Season 3 map, and going over everything we know so far with the Season 3 storyline. The first thing we're going to go over right now is when you hover to the Battle Pass section, it is finally here. All of the Agents trailers have officially been revealed. As you can see right here, guys, the Midas' trailer is officially out. We can actually play the intro trailer, and this intro trailer is pretty interesting. Let's just take a look, man. As you can see, obviously, Midas is walking up. Midas has the gold touch. He has a black knight helmet in his hand. He taps it. Of course, it turns to gold. We have so much information about Midas' room, which is actually located underneath the agency, which is insane. But here's the intro trailer. You can see all the other kind of old skins we've seen in Fortnite all turn gold by Midas. Now, Midas is going to have a huge part in ending Season 2 and leading into Season 3 because he's actually planning to destroy the entire Fortnite map with his Doomsday device that is located under the Agency. Now, as you guys probably know, ever since Season 2 has released, we've been seeing this kind of rivalry between the Team Shadow and the Team Ghost, and that's going to play in a very important role to the storyline of this Season 2 kind of leading to Season 3. Right now, we're going to go into Playground and show you guys one of the coolest things at the Agency. So we're here at the agency right now, and as you guys probably know, about two weeks ago, there were new doomsday devices added all around the agency. A total of five doomsday devices scattered all around the agency, the first one being right here, the second one over there, all surrounding this agency. Now what's very cool about these doomsday devices, in the most recent Fortnite update, the version 12.40 update, these doomsday devices have actually been activated. As you can see over here, as we get closer to this actual doomsday device, we can swim up to it. You can see that there's kind of like an orange light beacon around these doomsday devices, indicating that they have been fully activated. Now you may be wondering, what is has caused these doomsday devices to activate it. Now, if we look inside the Fortnite leaks that happened during uh, the downtime of version 12.40, inside the files, there was an image showing the Tempest skin inside of Midas' secret room. Obviously, you can see that Tempest is on a display in Midas' room. Now, what's very important about this is Tempest is known to have some sort of power with the storm. What we know is happening here, Midas ended up killing the Tempest skin, stealing his power, and that's what he's using to power up this doomsday device. As you can see on our Fortnite map around the agency, all the doomsday devices have now been powered up. Up by Tempest's storm power, which is kind of very sad for the Tempest skin that he was killed by Midas, and now he's being kind of slaved away for his power to activate these Doomsday devices, but it's all part of Midas's plan, which he wants to obviously activate this Doomsday device very soon. Now, also in the version 12.40 update we got a few days ago, we have a brand new leak of showing the agency fully destroyed, fully flattened on the ground. Now, obviously, I'm in a game right now, and nothing's happened to the agency, but it is very weird knowing that inside the game files right now, we actually have images, you can see right there, guys, of the agency being flattened. Flattened. Now, we don't know exactly when this is going to happen. This is probably going to be the result of the Doomsday devices actually going off, but it is very cool seeing that there is actually leaked images of the agency being completely flattened. Now, another major thing that happened during the 12.40 update was, of course, the shark. The location of the shark has been completely remodeled to be a prison. Obviously, you can see the prison guard kind of walls over there. The prison is actually down here. You have cells and everything. Now, if you actually come down here beneath the prison, you can actually see right here that there was actually a cell where someone was kept prisoner, but they have escaped out of this. And there also is showing a calendar. Now, this calendar is pretty interesting. No one really has an idea of what it means quite yet because these uh, these days on the calendar don't really match up too uh, much with our current 2020 calendar. If it does, it's like later August, which is still really far away. That'd be like season three. Uh, but it is very weird knowing that there was a prisoner that was here inside this uh, the shark prison who did escape. Now, what's very cool about when he escaped or she, he or she, we actually don't know who escaped here, but when they escaped, there's actually a high intensity secret prison over here on the other side of the shark. It's kind of its own separate island, kind of more of a bigger 
deal that needs to be kind of locked up in their own isolation. Now, when you come over to this actual kind of secret bigger prison over here, you can see there's obviously much more security. And you walk in here, man, this is one whole giant island just to keep this one prisoner. Now, the main question is, who was being kept in this prison? Now, many people have thought that maybe that Midas is gonna release that Doomsday device and that the Team Shadow and Team Ghost are gonna actually put him in jail here. Some people thought that it has to do with Deadpool and it might be the, the Juggernaut from the, the Deadpool movies. It is very weird knowing that we do have this kind of, uh, this jail cell prison here that's its own island at the Shark. I'm um, not really sure exactly who is going to be in this, but we do know that it's going to play a major part in this season two, kind of season three storyline, figuring out who got locked away in here and why they got locked away. Now, another big theory that people have thought about what's actually uh, going to be held inside this prison is that the Chaos Agent skin is going to be locked away in here. Now, if you guys remember in the Slurp Legends trailer, you can actually see right here, man, that the Slurp Legends pack, when they got turned into the Slurp people, they were actually controlled by the Chaos Agent. The Chaos Agent skin was the one who was kind of instructing them and doing the, the actual transformation them to turn them into a Slurp skin but maybe that chaos agent could have a much bigger role here in our fortnite storyline obviously he was introduced at the end of season x uh but he's still pretty relevant here in chapter two season three um and all the way through it so that's why people are wondering man for the new battle pass the season three battle pass could we potentially see a tier 100 skin or a skin revolved around the chaos agent but kind of more more advanced maybe a better looking one i have a concept right here in the screen i want to show you guys kind of of what that could look like in the middle man because that chaos agent he is still going to be here uh for the new season three but before we jump into our next topic about season Season three that we're going to show off a brand new location of the map that's coming for season three that's going to be slowly changing i want to go over the actual season three release date so i don't know if you guys are fully aware man but season three of chapter two was supposed to release in less than two weeks of recording this video it's supposed to release on april 30th but as you guys can see right here on the screen fortnite actually released a blog post saying the fortnite chapter two season two extension which does kind of suck but with everything going on in the world it does kind of make sense that they are extending the season also we still have some weeks of deadpool challenges we still have some more challenges coming out so it also wouldn't really make sense for the season to end in two weeks uh, but as you see here from this chapter 2 of season 2 extension the fortnite team did say hey all we're extending chapter 2 season 2 of fortnite beyond the original april 30th date our plan is to launch chapter 2 season 3 on june 4th so mark your calendars guys june 4th of 2020 is going to be the release date of chapter 2 season 3 and hopefully no more delays that seems like the finalized date of the new season which kind of sucks because that still is over a month away but it does give us some time to have some more things happen on our fortnite map going on here what they actually say to kind of back up their statement they say before then there's lots of content coming in the current current season of season two. We have multiple game updates on the way that will deliver fresh gameplay, new challenges, bonus XP, and a couple more surprises up our sleeve. As you guys see there, obviously the chapter two season three release date will be on June 4th. It did get extended. And as much as that does suck, it is nice knowing that we are going to be seeing some new stuff here in the next few weeks as we lead up to the release of season three. They're going to hype us up even more uh, for the new season. Now that we went over the release date and now we know when season three is officially out, I want to go over something that's going to affect the season three map. So how this season two map is going to change and give us a brand new map for season three, specifically looking at Lazy Lake. Now dropping in here at Lazy Lake, one of the main differences that you can see that was added in the most recent update was this building right here, the No Sweat Insurance building. Now, if you were a Fortnite OG of the chapter one map, you should know the No Sweat Insurance pretty well. Back in chapter one, the No Sweat Insurance was added to Tilted Towers multiple times. It was destroyed a few times. And then finally, when the Tilted Towers finally was destroyed before we got the Neo Tilted, the No Sweat Insurance was the only building to survive the volcano eruption that destroyed all of Tilted Towers. It is very weird here that we are seeing this no one sweat insurance being added kind of randomly It doesn't really make sense at all it just kind of randomly appeared and a lot of people are wondering Is this a foreshadowing event of the no sweat insurance kind of shaping the way lazy lake is and we're going to see Lazy lake actually get destroyed and give us a new location So many people do believe that this no sweat insurance is kind of a foreshadowing way to show us that things are gonna happen at lazy lake and whatever this doomsday device is happening at the agency that's gonna cause lazy lake to destroy in many other locations Which honestly is a very good theory now the other theory that a lot of people a lot of the OG people are really excited about is that the theory that Lazy Lake right here is going to actually turn into Tilted Towers, which honestly would be absolutely amazing. And I actually have some proof to show you that that theory might not be too far-fetched. You guys see right here in the screen now, man, is an image someone made on Reddit of showing how Lazy Lake can be lined up to be in fitting Tilted Towers. The first image that says this picture does not have the new snow sweat building, but I lined it up where it is added. Tilted kind of lines up, and it could definitely be worked into the area. So the theory is that Lazy Lake will slowly but surely build into the OG Tilted Towers map. I know a lot of people have been asking for the old map to come back, and they missed the OG Fortnite. This would be a great way for Fortnite to kind of fill that need of giving us the OG Chapter 1 Tilted Towers over Lazy Lake. You can see right there, obviously, that it would line up perfectly to put the old layout of Tilted Towers right over Lazy Lake. And now that we actually have one of the uh, buildings that was at Tilted Towers here at Lazy Lake, it just kind of uh, builds up this theory even more. And potentially, 
eventually over the next few weeks as we lead into the release of season three we should be having more and more buildings that are from tilted towers onto our lazy lake map kind of replacing the buildings now obviously right now that's just a theory but a lot of people have been believing it that this no sweat insurance just wasn't added here for no apparent reason so it should be very interesting to see what actually does happen here with lazy lake as we do know that that doomsday device of the agency is heating up it is officially activated and that's the next thing i want to talk about guys this is doomsday device this doomsday event it's a major major part of the season two map it's going to affect the season three storyline and probably the whole entirety of season three in terms of the battle pass we should be seeing sometimes a doomsday obviously uh what, what's most likely going to happen is team shadow and team ghost are going to disappear they're going to fight it out normally that's what happens when two teams that are pretty equal in strength fight it out no one ends up winning and that's normally why the doomsday device is being added by midas of course to kind of you know end that kind of fight there so that's why we'll probably see a lot of doomsday kind of themed skins in the fortnite battle pass of season three and also in terms of the season three map a lot of our old locations will most likely be destroyed by this doomsday device we don't know what else midas is planning but we do know that there's five doomsday devices all around the agency that are number one guaranteed to destroy the agency and probably going to destroy lazy lake and many more more locations now i think the next question that a lot of you guys are wondering is probably when is this doomsday event going to happen obviously it's going to be a live event the doomsday device uh devices all around the agency have already been activated thanks to the tempest's power uh from midas and his agent skin but the question is, when is this going to happen? Now, that's where it gets interesting because obviously this Doomsday event was supposed to happen this weekend or the next weekend because the new season was supposed to be the following days. But now that we have a delay of the season, it does make us wonder, is, is the event still going to happen this weekend or are we going to get a delay in the event as well? Now, normally I would say that the, the event would get delayed as well, but it's already weird because these these Doomsday devices have, have been activated. They already are turning purple. They've already been like powering up and they're ready to be launched. And I guess it's just one thing that we're gonna have to wait and see and find out about when these Doomsday devices and when the Doomsday live event is actually going to go down. Obviously, the season got delayed, so it's probably gonna push things a little bit back, but uh, maybe we'll see the Doomsday devices go off soon and uh, we'll have more map changes. Obviously, in this most recent update, we had the most map changes we've ever had all season. So hopefully, uh, you know, Fortnite did say that in their kind of article where they talked about the delay of the season, that they're gonna be adding new and refreshing content. So if they're planning to add new map changes all throughout the next few weeks as we lead into the release of season three, it would make a lot of sense for the storyline to have this doomsday event happen within the next two weeks here all i'm gonna say is keep your eyes peeled because these doomsday devices have been activated and uh at, at any moment now though they're gonna start going off and uh we're gonna be seeing pure chaos and destruction all over the fortnite map starting at the agency as you guys saw there once again the agency will be flattened very soon and that's in the game files right now so that can happen at any moment but right now that is pretty much all the information we have so far about chapter 2 season 3 obviously it is very nice that fortnite is you know letting us uh fully aware of when the season's releasing they're updating us and kind of communicating with us letting us know that the season did get delayed and it's very cool knowing that we are still getting some uh some things as planned you know obviously these doomsday devices are going to be a huge part of this season 2 ending event so it is cool that those are already activating even though the new season won't be released for over another month but it's very very cool here i want to make a video and just kind of go over everything we know so far about chapter two season three because this new season man i'm, I'm expecting it's going to be a big one fortnite knows that everyone's locked inside their houses with this kind of uh self-isolation and quarantine that people are stuck playing fortnite so if fortnite can capitalize release an awesome season some awesome updates it's going to keep people playing the game but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video kind of covering everything we know so far about chapter two season three if we get any other brand new information i'll be sure to cover it with some more videos here in the channel i haven't really making too many videos been doing more of streams but i want to make a video kind of give you guys the facts and kind of sum everything up we know so far about season three all in one video so you guys are fully up to date with everything and a lot of this stuff is kind of theorizing stuff so if you have any theories you think about chapter two season three and uh, how this doomsday device and this doomsday live events can affect the map leave me your comments down below in the comment section i'll be sure to read all those and hear you guys' uh, theories on what's going to happen here in the next few weeks but also don't forget to drop a like in this video if you did enjoy it and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new love to have you here for all future videos videos and also i don't know let me know if i brought the face cam in today's video kind of a different style of the video but hopefully you did enjoy it nonetheless and uh, obviously like i said earlier don't forget to use code pack a bunch in that fortnite item shop i would greatly appreciate it but you guys are awesome i'm gonna catch you later hopefully you enjoyed the video stay safe stay happy stay healthy and i'll catch you later peace out